Welcome to another day in the matrix, waters above crypto. We are getting the green pill today for these cryptocurrencies after a little pullback yesterday, and we got our retest of the lower levels I mentioned in my last video, so that technical analysis played out beautifully. In today's video, I'll be going over the Bitcoin and XRP charts to follow up on what I'm anticipating over this upcoming weekend, and a reminder, the sale on my mastermind course is live until the end of the month, and I'll be providing more information on that in a moment. So if you're new here, we do cryptocurrency technical analysis and combine it with gematria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets. Feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay updated on when new videos come out. And make sure to give this video a like and share this channel with other conscious people to help grow this community. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm currently running a sale for my mastermind course until the end of the month. So for those of you that want to learn how to do technical analysis and combine it with Gematria, you can join my mastermind course with the promo code in the pinned comment below for a discount. My email is in the description box to get in contact with me for access to the course. And these are the times to focus on your education before the bull run takes off later this year. So definitely reach out to me if you're interested in taking advantage of the sale before the start of September. And with that being said, let's take the red pill. So, in my previous video, I mentioned this date of August 27th, which is today, and it is because the 8272021 equals 22, and we're getting some exciting price action today. So, as of last week, we transitioned out of Leo into the Virgo Zodiac, and the reason I focused on Leo so much last month was because of the ties to XRP. So in early July, actually around July 10th to be exact, I made a video discussing Leo and I was also talking about the two-day MACD bullish cross that we got for XRP. Again, go back to the videos of early July if you wanted to see that. XRP was trading at really low levels and we called the bottom around 51 cents live in a video. And since then, we've seen how it's all played out. But getting back to Leo, of course, Leo was the 32 in Gematria and Leo Zodiac was during the 32nd week of the year. And Leo has the tie to XRP with the 15 in Chaldean. So you could see Leo equals the 15 in Chaldean, XRP equals the 15 in Chaldean. And of course, you have that 23, which comes back to Leo with the 32 as above, so below. And we also had a couple other connections, but for the most part, it was just important that we focused on the other ties that we were getting to Ripple as well. So you have that 40 and that 32 coming back from Ripple to Leo. And we have that 32 connection right there. And 41, 14, again, we have that 14 in XRP, and then we have that 14 in Leo. So there were so many ties that we were getting here, and it made me really confident considering Leo with that 32, and how the 32nd week of the year was between August 9th and August 15th. And of course, we had our micro cycle high for XRP on the 15th of August. August, which is right here, the last day of the 32nd week of the year where the price hit $1.35 pretty much. You can see it spiked up into highs on that date, but pretty much the whole 32nd week of the year was when the breakout happened. This is how we're using the code. So again, let's look at the days from August 30, from the 9th of August to the 15th is the 32nd week of the year. This is the 9th of August right here. And from that date to the 15th was literally the breakout. So you can utilize this code in ways that are very unique and be able to get some amazing results if you just open up your mind to some of these more esoteric principles. So again, this time frame was perfect to see the whole breakout happen on the 32nd week of the year on August 15th, hitting the high again, that 15 coming back to the Chaldean of Leo and the Chaldean of XRP, the 15th day of that month in the 32nd week of that year. Now, another thing that I've been considering is when we would get our micro cycle high, and I brought up in my previous video to look out for September 1st or September 2nd, and now I have a little bit more information for you. So 
as of last week, we've transitioned out of Leo into Virgo. And this is really important to consider here because with Virgo, we have that 35 full reduction. And Virgo is between the 22nd of September of August to the 22nd of September. And we can see right here that the 35th week of the year is next week. And that is during Virgo. Again, Virgo has that 35 full reduction. And that's incredible because we're seeing that it includes the dates of August 30th through September 5th. Two days after that being Rosh Hashanah or the Shemitah and also a new moon. So there's so much power coming in around this next week in this time frame. Of course, the 33rd week of the year was really important, but pretty much this entire 32nd through 35th week of the year was a massive energy transition. And we've seen that happen in the charts, except for next week. We have to see how that goes, of course. But we're this is what we're doing here. We're utilizing the code to be able to determine future price action before that comes. And then I believe the 37th. The 36th week of the year is when we're going to get a noticeable pullback. So anyways, I don't want to jump ahead of myself. Let's get back to the Gematria. We have Virgo giving us that 35. We have that 35th week of the year coming up next week. And then another thing is, remember I was saying September 1st is a potential candidate for the micro cycle highs that we can get, meaning not new all-time highs for Bitcoin, XRP, and Ethereum, micro cycle highs. So before we get a noticeable correction, and if I type in 9-1-2021, we get that 15. And of course, that 15 comes back to XRP and Chaldean, that 15. So that 9-1 2021 for September 1st. It's just something to keep an eye on, okay? And then also we have tomorrow being a pretty interesting day because we get the 77 when we write 8 plus 28 plus 20 plus 21. And you can see right here that tomorrow's date when you add it up like this, it gives you the 77. And of course, this 77 is a critical number because the sevens come back to Shemitah, Shemitah being the seven year cycle. And we're about to have our Shemitah on September 7th. And this is amazing because we are currently in the 77th anniversary of Bretton Woods, the Bretton Woods Conference. Okay. And seven times seven gives you 49. And on the 50th year, you have Jubilee. And recently on August 15th was the 50th year anniversary of the Nixon shock, which happened in 1971. Again, the 7 times 7, 49 gives you the 50th Jubilee. We are literally reliving history, and this is the transition year. The Shemitah from September of 2021 to September of 2022 will be the most insane year financially in history, and I could almost guarantee that. And we are living through it vicariously with the wealth transfer of cryptocurrency. And this is why I'm so focused on putting in the work that I'm putting in right now and trying to educate people on these more esoteric principles. And of course, my core goes over how we can utilize what we learn with the technical analysis side of things and then include and combine it with these more esoteric principles so that we can have a leg up on this market and understand it from a level that's not just the hype and the over exuberant thumbnails that we're getting in most of the content out there which is keeping people in the emotional body we want to exit that emotional side so that we can be able to navigate what's going on here logically and be able to be involved in it without taking it personally, without becoming a cult member of it. It's very critical. And this is how we set ourselves free. We utilize this code. Okay. So let's just consider all these things. And another thing that I have that's very powerful is this date of September 1st, 2021 will actually be a Wednesday. And that Wednesday or Miercoles coming back to the day of Mercury and Mercury gives us that 86 and that 86 is really powerful coming back to ripple with the 86 in the same cipher. But then here's something else about Mercury that's pretty incredible. With Mercury, you have that one 03 and that 103 giving you the 27th prime number and that 27 comes back to ripple in the Chaldean cipher. Again, the sign ruler of Virgo is Mercury and this day of September 1st is on a Wednesday, the day of Mercury, all tied back to XRP and ripple 
by the code, okay? Incredible stuff. Let's move on to the technical analysis. So before we get started on the TA, go ahead and give this video a like if you've made it this far. I appreciate your support. Let's get this to 1,000 likes. You guys are incredible. So first things first, we're on the daily chart of XR, of Bitcoin, excuse me. And in my last video, I was giving you guys downside price targets. And I mentioned right here around the 200 simple moving average and the 21 EMA. And that combination around there made me feel very confident that if we would get a short term pullback before the end of the month, that is exactly where we would go. Again, rewatch that video. And what we're seeing is the price actually pulled back to around $46,300. And because today we are seeing the 21 exponential at $46,170, that is around a $100 difference or a 0.25% accuracy. You can't get much more spot on than that. So that TA in the last video was actually pretty critical and it worked out beautifully. Now let's, for a little exercise, do something that I've done before, which is I'm gonna go to the Shemitah date, which is the 7th of September, and I'm gonna measure backwards, and we're gonna see that today is actually 11 days before the Shemitah, and we've seen this happen before, where when we measure backwards from Shemitah onto these angel number days, or I, I just call them master numbers, we we see that something significant occurs. And this is interesting too, because you know, of course, the 11 is sort of the reset number, the one one, like J. January 1st would be the date numerology of 1-1. It is the reset of the year. And I've looked at it from that perspective for a while now, ever since I've started doing this type of work. But let's just for an exercise move backwards and see some significance that we get. For instance, on the 33 days before, we get that massive pullback on the 5th of August. And again, remember my recent videos where I was talking about the 58 day bottoms. And if we measure from right here, the pullback of June 22nd over to 58 days, where does that bring us? Oh, excuse me. I'm going to take that back. Let's measure backwards and let's just make sure we're accurate with this. It is this day right here, the 8th of June, excuse me. So you can see right here when we measure back from that low wick on the 8th of June over to 58 days, that gives us right there the date of August 5th, which was actually a micro cycle low for Bitcoin. You can see it was the lowest price in the structure. And then when we measure from here to Shemitah, that gives us 33 days. It's incredible how this works. So let's also measure back and we're going to see even crazier things. So let's look right here, the 22nd of June, which was the lowest price we've gotten in the micro cycle. And you can see 77 days. That was the low. Now let's keep going. And it's, this is incredible right here to the dip, the major drop that we had on May 19th, 111 days, the 111. So this is incredible how we've been measuring these days. And of course, you can't be perfect on them because, again, this takes a lot of insight. This takes a lot of practice. And we're seeing it happen, though, where we've measured every 58 days from microcycle low to microcycle low, we get a big pullback. And the same thing goes from measuring backwards from Shemitah every time it is giving us these significant numbers. So one other thing that we could consider, if you actually take the date of, again, September 1st to the day of Shemitah, that gives us seven days if you're including the end date. And what's really significant about that, again, it comes back to the sevens. Shemitah is a seven-year cycle, meaning every seven years we have what is called Shemitah. Shemitah in Hebrew means to release, and every seven years we have financial chaos. And this is exactly why I I'm preparing everyone for this upcoming Shemitah and what to expect for the year of 2022, where we will see not only a wealth transfer to start the year with the alt season, but we will see a massive market correction across the board in the following months of February and March of 2022. So it's really interesting how we're seeing this all come to fruition. Again, we saw the pullback down to close to the 21 exponential moving average. We've had a nice bounce since from 
from a technical perspective, until we can clear this eight simple moving average, which is sitting around 48,600, we could range sideways. And I would anticipate we range sideways up until probably the last couple days of this month, leading into September 1st or September 2nd, where we have that final little pump up. And I anticipate Bitcoin to at least retest 50K by September 1st. So something to keep in mind, again, if we continue to close daily candles above the 21 exponential moving average, I would anticipate this can stay upwards and sideways. As long as we're maintaining above the 21 with daily closures, we are fine. And any closures below the 21, we would range to the downside around these lower wicks here basically coming down to 44,000, which would be solidifying a retest of the 34 exponential moving average. Again, I'm a technical analyst. I give you guys the levels and I provide the more esoteric principles alongside. Do not take this as prediction. This is merely me giving you what is to be expected in the event of up or down because a market could do three things it will do three things it will move up it will move down it will move sideways and it's my job to give you guys the levels that is it don't take it more seriously than that so one other thing to consider is this saturday coming up which is the 28th will be following a two-day a three-day and a five-day closure before the weekly close obviously this sunday followed with CME opening up. So this Saturday's close will be very interesting for the macro charts because we'll be getting a two-day, three-day, and five-day closure. And any closure above 45,000 would be indicative of a strong uptrend leading into the monthly close. And in that monthly close, again, I would anticipate a sharp move for September 1st or September 2nd, followed by an immediate pullback. And this is me talking about Bitcoin. When Bitcoin moves up 5%, you could see a 10% pump in the alt. When Bitcoin moves down 5%, you could see a 5% correction in the alts. So this is why I focus on this chart the way I do. Now, let's move on to the XRP chart. So again, with XRP and my last video that I posted, we actually got a retest perfectly of the 382 fib which you can see right here and that's what i brought up for the downside target in my last video i brought up to look out for the 382 fib for any short-term corrections and that is exactly what we got followed by a bounce off of the 21 exponential moving average continuation to the upside would take a daily close above the eight simple moving average which today is sitting around a dollar 18 and again that would probably pump us up to the 0.5 fib and then after the 0.5 fib we would need to be seeing a new micro cycle high in order to obviously see a test of the golden pocket the fibonacci golden pocket so until then we're kind of just chilling out sideways we can range along with bitcoin let's go to the weekly because i do want to reiterate something where i mentioned in my previous video that we could absolutely see a sub one dollar xrp again a lot of people think that this is it that was the last big pullback and no that's not how this works you got to look at this from a technical perspective which is upside and downside levels if you're getting new highs, of course, you continue and see new highs, just like we're getting with Cardano. But for the most part, you need to look at this from a very multifaceted perspective, and that is by our exponential moving averages, simple moving averages, Bollinger Bands, these very basic utility of our indicators. And the first thing that I can mention right here is we can see all of our weekly moving averages are sitting around this red line, which is the point of control of the VPVR. This volume profile range is a very strong tool, and it is where we have the most price action traded. And what this tells me is if we're going to get any pullbacks, it's probably going to be strongly gravitating to around 90 cents. So around 88 to 90 cents would be a very strong support level in the event of a bigger pullback. And that would be something I would potentially consider moving into mid September. September, around September 16th or so, I would anticipate XRP to retest these moving averages. Again, every week we close above these moving averages, these moving averages will go up and they will slope up fast, especially if we have a big gap in between them. If the trading is gapped between the moving averages, we will see these moving averages move up substantially every single weekly close. So it's just something to keep in mind along with this POC. With XRP, we can totally see a retest of like 95 cents. 
and then a flash down to this POC or the 236 fib and conclude that in a single one hour candle. So this isn't me saying we're going to pull back to that level and trade there forever. I'm trying to say that if we are going to get a pullback area, it will be strongly gravitating to this level just because when XRP breaks out, it tends to have a 40 day pump and dump cycle. And of course, it's actually been strong because it's been making new higher lows. So as long as it continues to make higher lows and create new highs ultimately it is in an uptrend and the uptrend is all that matters of course you just need to position yourself with your entries at the best possible positions and so far in this channel we've been doing so we've called this breakout that happened into april and we also called this breakout that happened into july so again we are doing very well with our xrp analysis and we've been completely keeping the emotion on the side during the entire journey. So again, I've given you the short-term pullback area for me is still this 382 FIB. If we're going to get any pullbacks, it's probably going to want to gravitate to this area of the 382 around $1.06, $1.05. And for continuation to the upside, daily closures above that one 19 $1.18. And another thing we could consider here is this two day close. It does look like there's a potential bullish engulfing candle in the making. That would be this Saturday. So if we got a close above $1.14, basically where we're at now, that would be pretty solid for continuation as well, followed by closures of the eight simple moving average. So again, I do anticipate a relief rally up until September 1st, September 2nd. Between now and then, we just have to chill. Prices could go sideways. They could be boring over the weekend. Again, when the weekend comes and the prices are bullish, which lately they have been, when there's greed in the market, weekends tend to be pretty good. So I'm not saying this weekend will be good. Tomorrow is that 77 date numerology. If you do the numerology the way I just showed you, that could be uh, something, but I don't really care about what that uh, tells me. For right now, what I'm, most in, what I'm most focused on is Virgo, the 35th week of the year, which is coming up next week, and that date of 9-1 of September 1st, followed by a pullback into September 16th. That is where I'm most focused, the pullback in the 37th week of the year. Until then, we're just going to be doing our TA and our day-to-day -day warm up and make sure to keep you guys updated every step of the way. Again, a reminder, it is the end of the month, so I'm doing a sale for my mastermind course. You can learn technical analysis and combine it with Gamatria. Promo code is in the pinned comment below. My email is in the description to get in contact with me for access to the course. Enjoy the rest of your day in the matrix. Much love.